Good morning, everybody, and happy Thor's Day, as everybody is saying. It's great to see everybody. It is day four of this five-day beginner workout program, and if you made it all four days, keep up the good work. We're almost there. Thanks, Sarah. You said that. Almost there. That's awesome. If you can make it four days, you can make it five days. So let's get through this one, then we'll focus on tomorrow. But you keep up the good work. Uh, once again, like always, if there's a move you can't do, there's always going to be an adjustment. So let's keep that in mind. All of this is standing. So it's standing core and cardio on a 45, 50, 40, I'm sorry, 40, 20 tempo. Ten different moves, two times through. 40, 20 tempo, no problem. Who's not ready? We were born ready. All right. Let's reach and stretch, kick that opposite arm back, pivot on the toes, open up the hips. Switch that to elbow strike, bring that around. Elbow strike. All right, cross your chest, opposite knee to elbow, drive it upward. Feet shoulder width, let's go half squats. On that half squat, you're just doing about a 45 degree drop with your butt right there, right back up. You just wanna slowly loosen that up. As you feel better, you can drop a little bit lower each time. It doesn't have to be all the way down. I just want you to warm up the legs. Again, a lot of this is core involved, but standing core moves. All right, let's drive it, right knee to elbow, drive it across. Bah. Bah. Switch sides, drive that left knee up. This will be in the moves. All right, opposite knee to elbow, we're, we're marching. You can either march or you can jog into place, either one. It's fine. If you want to jog in a place that's great otherwise, opposite knee to elbow, drive it up. Pump the arms. All right. Reach and stretch. We're going to swing it now. Coming to the side, swing it on the side. Don't hit your partner if you're with somebody. Open it up. Reach as far as you can. You want to pause it there. Still pivoting. You want to open these hips up. That's very important. All right. Back to jogging into place or opposite knee to elbow. Stop the jogging. Stop the opposite knee to elbow. Arms out, palms up, little forward roll. Palms down, reverse that pterodactyl roll. All right, under over scissor, nice and loose. Flap the wings. All right, beautiful. Hold that thought. I got a little technical difficulty. We will make sure that we can get back into the internet here. I'm having some internet difficulties here. Give me a second. I apologize in advance. <laughs> Sometimes the internet doesn't want to work four days in a row. All right, here we go. We want to get some music back into it. While I'm doing that, I want to just give everyone a quick shout out. Those of you who are joining in live, thanks for being here. I can't see all the chat right now, but it'll come back up. Teresa, thank you. Welcome. Tia Favorita, Queen B, Cat, Sarah. The ultimate gamer, which is the poet, the Promethean in the his house, Stellar, great to see you as always. If I skipped you, that's because I can't read. Sorry about that. So spun out, welcome back. Thanks for being here again. Bevelin, let's have some fun today, no? <laughs> All right, let's retry it. Come on, Internet. I'm sorry, guys. If we have to, we'll, we'll, we'll just kind of move on. I want to try to give you a little bit of... 
I want to be able to see if I can see comments here. So give me one second. I think we got it. I think I got it. All right, wonderful. All right, here we go. There we go. We ready to jam? We ready to rock? Is it time? Enough playing around, right, Jake? Great to see everybody. There we go. There it is. A little trap music. I don't know. Non-copyrighted trap. Is that good or no? First one's going to be high. Arm ups. But you want to keep your arms out here. You're going to drive it and twist. You want to look on the other side. It's not a reverse lunge. You're just stepping here. Bringing it back to the side. 40 seconds coming here. Really focus on that twist. You're twisting towards the hip. If you're finding that to be a balance issue, just step and twist. Right back, step and twist. So that's the modifier. All right, let's do this. Thanks for your patience. T minus 10 seconds. We're getting started. Two moves through 10, or ten, two rounds through 10 moves. Pff, we got it. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's rock. Twist it right there. Bring it back. Engage that core. That pause here. Notice I'm not going fast yet. I want to make sure I'm focusing on where I need to. Drive it up. Obliques. Front abs. Low back. That's all core. And again, if you're struggling with that high knee, just step in front. Just like that. Step in front. Little twist. Still engaging similar muscles, and as you get better, you can slowly try to start to raise that knee up. Four seconds. Three, two, one. Other side. Same thing. So my right leg is in front, left is in back. Torso twist. Arms are slightly out. Mainly just because you're just opening up that range a little further. If you go tighter, it changes how that core engages. Five seconds. Three, two, one, here we go, low impact right here. And bring it back, low impact. And then next level. And don't be discouraged if you're at the lower impact. The next level comes in time. You find this easy, don't worry. I have a tendency to raise the bar. <laughs> Again, I'm pausing at the top, focusing abs. Think, think core today. And I know I call it hit. That hit is basically just, just kind of focused on tempo. I know it's kind of a, it's not a tempo that we always do. We usually on the 30, 10, but today's a 40, 10. Two, one, all right. Alternating cross body. Now we do these in warm-ups across my chest. The idea is you want to drive with your legs, not your upper body. We're not doing this. We want to come up and drive it upward using the, the legs, hip flexors, to get cross body, thinking on the abs as well. Two, one, let's go. If you cannot get the knee to the elbow, don't fret, no big deal. You get where you go where you can. Um, what you wanna try to avoid is you know, this twisting, you, wanna, you don't wanna look left to right. You wanna look in front of you and focus that low body to drive upward. Fifteen seconds. Four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Standing side crunch. Okay, this one I always recommend. Do not grab the back of the head. You just want to come up here like this. And from this point, now we're getting that lower body involved coming back here. If you can, you want to take that opposite hand and kick it back. If you're struggling with it, just keep it to the side and just do that. Coming across like that, that's engaging a little bit harder. If you're struggling getting your leg up there, right here. Bring it back, down here. Now, I don't want you to do this. You don't want to come all the way down like that. Just a little step, side crunch. And then when you can start to raise it, that's even better. The goal is to get that knee to the elbow, if you can. 10 seconds. Two, one, time, other side. 
Same thing. Arm, uh, hand is not grabbing the neck. I don't want any torque here on the neck. It's all about moving that low body into that upper body, opposite knee to elbow. You can always swing that momentum with that right hand. That's fine too, as long as you can control it at the top. Let's go, I'm talking. <laughs> Less talky talky, more worky worky, no? <laughs> Come on, Jake. Good job guys, 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Working the legs again, but now we're gonna go left knee driving forward. I like to bring my elbows in on this and it's like a standing crunch. We do this on MMA, it's a knee crunch. We'll be doing it again, I promise, but I want you to get used to it. So we're coming in here, a little, a little tuck, just a knee tuck. Elbows are in, you want to, it's almost like doing a standing crunch. Let's do it. Drive the knee. The left knee is first, but if you start with your right, that's fine. We're just going to switch on the next exercise. Don't have to go super fast. Up here, that's where your core strength is at, is in that time control here. Bye. Time control. 10 seconds. Time under tension. Four seconds. Three, two, one. The only time under tension, Jake, is me having to listen to your mouth. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> right. We're going to tuck and do the same deal on the right, left, right knee, left knee. Three seconds. Two. One, drive it, pause it, bring it up. Elbows in, little crunch here. Think core, think balance, think goals. Twenty seconds. Legs are working too. I didn't say it was just core, so if you're feeling your legs, that's good. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right. Spider Man. But we are not alternating this. So the Spider Man is just a side crunch. Just like that. We're going to do it on the same side. That's going to be the side crunch. You want to focus on obliques. And this one, knee and elbow try to close. If you can't touch, just get as close as you are. Even if you're right there and you're lifting, that's fine. Right there's okay. Focus on that side. As you feel stronger, you get a little closer. As you get a little closer, range of motion improves. And then once you can, try to touch. That's also engaging the balance a little bit. Nothing wrong with a little balance. We did that yesterday. You'll get better at balance the more you work out. That's a guarantee. The reason I can guarantee is because if you're putting the time in, you will get results. <clears throat> Five seconds. One of the hardest things about fitness is showing up. Switch sides. It's nothing fancy. It's just getting in the gym or waking up and rolling out of bed and getting on the floor and getting something done. All right. Side crunch, spider to say. And two, one, let's go. Start off light, need an elbow. And then if you feel comfortable, all the way up. Mm. Again, focus on that left. You really, if you have. So you can feel those muscles engaging right there. It's like, oh yeah, it's working. Then you send, then it's a brain to muscle signal connection right there. Oh yeah, obliques. I feel it, side of my abs. Mm -hmm. Five seconds, four, three, two, 
one all right sticking with lower body but still hitting core it's what i call jugglers driving the knee knee heel heel some people are going to be better at this than others if you're struggling getting that heel up you don't have to touch you don't have to touch you can just just kind of turn it around to open it up and if that's really a struggle just go knees drive it up i like to touch left to right so it's totally up to you the reason why is because i want to get to that juggler knee knee heel heel one two open it up three four one two three four bring it because that's how you roll this is the last move of this round we're doing it again i'm going to pick up the tempo though it's the finisher round 10 seconds four three two one to do that we have to change the tunes all right here we go round two dig deep first one high knee torso twist bring it around yeah who's not ready let's do it torso twist bring it up now if you have boom you can pick up the tempo just make sure you control the move come on you warriors 20 seconds Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Right leg is in front, left is in back. If you have to go to the step version, perfect. Just perfect. Otherwise, slowly try to raise it up each time. Five seconds. Those were freebies. No extra charge. Let's go. Twist it. Mm. I know some of you wanted to stay in bed, and you're doing this anyway. Man, you know it's in you. Keep it rocking. 15 seconds. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. All right, alternating cross body, cross your chest, opposite knee to elbow, boom. Bring it up, drive. So long as the form is still good, check the form, make sure it's there. 10 seconds. In three, two, one, let's lock and load. Drive it up. And if you feel yourself slow it down it's fine I want you to focus on this it'll work a lot of movements we're doing is are also engaging hip flexors right here by your legs that's good I want you to feel that we want that to get stronger five seconds three two one Cross body crunch, right arm, opposite the elbow. This is when we're driving down. We do this with runners when we're driving up like this, but this one you want to emphasize also torquing down. And as always, here we go. If you can't, if you want to start off right here, that's fine. But your range of motion is going to continue to improve, and you'll get closer and closer. I don't mind if you pick up speed. Cross body. Get it across there, drive it. Bring it up. 15 seconds, good tempo. Five, four, three, two, 
One. Cross body crunch, other side. Left leg is in front, right is driving opposite to, to left elbow. We got it, 10 seconds. Come on, we're almost there. This is the last round of four or five more moves. No problem. Three, two, one, let's do it. Your tempo, your pace, you feel good. Pick up that pace. Only you can push yourself, really. Only you can determine how well you do something. So get confident with it, and then tell yourself, eh, just a little bit faster. Eh, just a little bit better. Just a little bit more. 10 seconds before you know it. You're a Four seconds, three, two, one. Well done, left knee strike. The elbows are in. It's a tuck forward crunch. Left knee, left knee, so the right is on the ground. Left knee is driving up. 10 seconds. Your tempo, again, if you're struggling with this, just bring it down here. Bah. Slowly try to bring that knee higher and higher each time. Two, one, let's go. Took, drive it. Think about the abs on this. I'm focusing, crunching. Bah. Elbows in. When you drive to bring your upper body down a little bit and it gives you that little extra tuck. Ugh. Mm hmm yeah, those are yummy. <laughs> 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Switch sides, right knee tuck, same deal, different side. We got like four more moves, four more, no problem. Come on, you made it this far. In. Three, two, one. Let's drive it. Right knee tuck. Because mm. I, I want that mind to muscle connection. If you think about it, even if you put your hands on it, touch it, address it, engage it, like you're getting married to it. 15 seconds. 10, 5, 3, 2, 1, <laughs> wow, all right, we're going to switch this up, we got side crunch to the left now, side crunch to the left or spider, spider-man crunch, left side, 8 seconds, again, start where you're at, and then when you start to increase that range, you know, I'm still okay if you grab in a chair, if you, have, if you have to do that. But at some point, you want to try to focus on the balance of it. Balance is also involving the core. <clears throat> Side, touch it. Obliques. Ah, feel it. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. It gets glutes too. That's a bonus. The gluteus my thing. <laughs> switch sides. Spider on the right. Or whatever side you're on, just switch it. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Get used to that side. Mm. Drive it. I'm more into control, so better to have good control than speed. But if you do feel like you have the control, speed it up, that's fine. But just keep checking your form, make sure it's there. Don't want to compromise form for speed. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, 
even in your busy lifestyle, you are here doing this, taking all different things, activities, and bringing them all together, juggling every one of them, which is only proverbial that we finish with jugglers. Knee, knee, heel, heel. We started off slow. This one, I want you to go as fast as you can. We're going to start in four seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go juggle it. Knee, knee, heel, heel. Last 40. We got it. Come on. Push it. Woohoo. Twenty seconds, pick it up, knee, knee, heel, heel. Bah. Knee, knee, go. Drive it as high as you can. Uh, two. Bah. Uh, two. Bah. Good work, guys. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one. We got it's bonus reps. No extra charge. Drive it. Straight up. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Time. Well done. Good job, guys. Stick around to stretch. Those of you who came in here on the live, um, stick around also if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. If you're not live, just leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know how it went. Feel free to ask a question there too. And I usually try to answer it on the next live if I cannot answer it in the comment section. Okay, deep breath in through your nose. And exhale, bend at the waist. If you think you're just gonna do the workout and not stretch, you are cheating yourself. Make sure you're stretching too. Same thing, deep breath in. Reach back, bend at the waist, exhale. All right, lift your, basically lift your waist up. You're gonna, you're gonna bend left to right, putting a little pressure here, left to right. Extend that opposite leg. All right, all the way to the top. Feet a little bit closer than shoulder width. You're gonna, you're gonna hinge your hips back like this. Once you hinge your hips back and you feel the tension in your hamstrings, then you're going to drop. So let's do that. Deep breath in. Exhale. Hips back, hips back. Oh, there's the tension. Then you can bend the spine. And wherever that toe touch is, you know, I don't care if it's here, here, whatever. Just, just keep, I don't want to see bouncing. No bouncing. I can't see it, but if I could, if you were bouncing like this, I'd stop you. You want to stay, you just want to keep that tension. Hold it there. And slowly come back up, lower back to the center, roll the shoulders back. Excellent. One more. Grab a chair, hold the wall. We've done this before. We did it yesterday. Grab the leg. You just want to pull that tension here. This time, I want you to try to lean forward a little bit. Even if you keep the chair in front of you, just try to open this up. Open the hips up a little bit. And also the hip flexor, because we worked a lot of this right here, right by that leg's hip flexor. You want to hold the chair, otherwise hold the arm out. Good, and recover. Switch sides on the left. Start here, and it's always better, I'm going to pivot around this way. It's always better to have a chair in front of you rather than on the side, especially on this case, because I want you to try to lean forward a little bit. Get your, get your body used to being in this position and just raise that arm out there or hold the chair. All right, relax that. One quick one with the arms, palms up, right behind the elbow, pull it towards your chest. Oh yeah, take that right hand, come over that left, lift and pull it towards you. Relax, other side, left arm up, palm up, behind the elbow, pull it towards you. Take that left palm, go behind that right shoulder, lift that elbow. Pull it towards you. Oh, yeah. Loosen that up. Wonderful. Thanks for being here. Thanks for doing it again. Four days in a row. Keep it up. You have one more day. 
tomorrow, if you made it this far, tomorrow's going to be fun. Traditionally on Fridays, I like to do a little bit of MMA stuff. It's just punching, it's knees and kicks. There's going to be more arm work tomorrow than leg work because of what we did today. But there are, there's going to be a lot of jabs. And if you feel uncomfortable with that, you're doing it by yourself, no big deal. Do it in front of the mirror. I promise you, the punches get better, they get easier. And by the end of the week, you start to look forward to it because you're just ready to punch off some steam.